the nayakas of keladi the nayakas of keladi from 1499 to 1763 were an important ruling dynasty in post medieval karnataka and who initially ruled the famous vijayanagar empire after the fall of the empire in 1565 they gained independence and ruled significant parts of the present day karnataka including shimoga district most areas in the coastal regions and the central plains along the tungabhadra river in 1763 ad with their defeat to aider ali they were absorbed into the kingdom of mysore they played an important part in the history of karnataka during a time of confusion and disunion that generally succeeded in south india after the fall of the vijayanagar empire the nayaka family includes iriya venkatappa nayaka from 1586 to 1629 who was considered by scholars as brightest ruler of the nayaka family during his rule the kingdom expanded so that it covered coastal regions malnad regions and some regions to the east of the western ghats of present day karnataka he was also known to have defeated the adil shahis of bijapur in anagal he built many temples for vaishnavas and jains and a mosque for muslims next the shivappa nayaka from 1645 to 1660 who was widely considered as the brightest and greatest of the keladi rulers he was not only an able administrator but also supported literature and fine arts his successful battles against the bijapur sultans the mysore kings the portuguese and other nayakas of the neighboring territories east of the western ghats helped expand the kingdom to its greatest extent covering large areas of present day karnataka he gave importance to agriculture and developed many new schemes for collection of taxes and revenues a statue of him and the palace built by him containing many objects of his times are reminders of the respect he has earned keladi channamma from 1672 to 1697 She was an able ruler who some scholars claim was similar with the Maratha Shivaji and later his son Sambaji to defeat all competing applicants to the throne. She gave shelter to Chhatrapati Raja Ram when he fled from the Mughal army. Channamma of Keladi is well remembered by local people through tales of her bravery. The other Nayaka family members include Chaudappa Nayaka, Sadashiva Nayaka, Shankarna Nayaka, Chikka Shankarna Nayaka, Rama Raja Nayaka, Veera Bhadra Nayaka, Chikka Venkatappa Nayaka, Bhadrappa Nayaka, Soma Shekara Nayaka 1, Bassappa Nayaka, Soma Shekara Nayaka 2, Kiriya Bassappa Nayaka, Chenna Bassappa Nayaka and Queen Veera Maji. The Aikeri or Keladi Nayakas issued a number of coins which are mostly of gold or copper. The designs and figures on the Nayak coins are similar to that of the Vijayanagara coins including the size and weight. One of his gold coins depicts Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati seated next to each other. Another gold coin of the same ruler features the Mythical God Ganda Verunda. For more than two hundred years, the kingdom controlled the coastal and Malnad regions of Karnataka and fostered a rich tradition of trade with the English, the Portuguese, and the Dutch. However, in the period of unhappiness brought about by the fall of the last great Hindu empire. the vijayanagar empire constant wars campaigns against local chieftains and the mysore kingdom and the harassment of marathas 
finally drained the treasury and resulted in the kingdom. This is the decline and the end of the kingdom.